don't know if it's where I live. Or... Hello, Oaks live stream family. This is not my studio, as you can tell. Uh, this is my outdoor studio at Andy and Monica Johnson's house. And our small group's meeting tonight, and I thought, hey, rather than wait and go over late, I will come on over and we will do our Jesus Calling live stream from right here in their beautiful botanical garden uh, with all the wildlife and the beautiful flowers and everything. Some people are still straggling in, even though our group started at 6.30. <laughs> so uh, they're back there getting the rest of the food. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we're going to do our Jesus Calling uh, together. Uh, tonight and I'm uh, gonna let a few others read tonight. Let me let me just uh, Let me do something here. I can pick up the tripod. Oh There's my there's my executive producer <laughs> right there. She is and uh, Oh, there's Doug Karen Where's Sandy? Sandy late She's late. And John. Hi. Both of them late, but they're here. I can't see where I'm on there. Monica. Let me get over here. There, Monica. Is there. Kim and Pam are over there somewhere. There they are. And back here, Peggy is right there. Travis and Deb are not with us tonight. They've got family there. Okay. Well, I'll just hold on to this. Lyndon, and Lyndon and Tom are not here. Tom has something tomorrow that we can't tell you about, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but we know. It's not a secret to us. All right, who's reading? Oh, okay. Pam is going to read uh, the first scripture. We've got two scriptures, Matthew 28, 18. Beautiful passage. Jesus, great commission. Here we go. Let me get in the right spot. Go. Then Jesus came to them and said... All authority in heaven on earth has been given to me. That's it, Marty. That was it? That was it. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah. Okay. Well, all authority has been given to Jesus in yes. heaven and earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, Doug, are we on you? Where are you? No, you're, that's a tree. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Doug Frakes, ladies and gentlemen, this is his debut, his Jesus Calling debut right here. <laughs> Enter his gates with thanksgiving and give his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. And a whole bunch of you should recognize that one uh, because we, rec we all memorized Psalm 100 way back in the early days uh, of the Oaks family. All right, I'm going to just share a little bit about it, and if any of our group wants to chime in some little piece, you're welcome to. I'll stop occasionally. I got a few little notes here. And this is Sarah Young, Jesus speaking to us, uh, so we kind of go along with that and kind of enter into that together. I want you to be all mine, filled with the light of my presence. We talk about that a lot. All mine. Talked about it this morning quite a bit on the uh, chapter uh, reading, you know, and, and I've talked about it several weeks. You can't split your pants with Jesus. It's all his or nothing, really. And he's and she says that and it speaks it, which is the truth of Scripture. I gave everything for you by living as a man, then dying for your sins and living again. Amen. He did. He gave everything and hold back nothing from me. Bring your most secret thoughts into the light of my love. Anything you bring to me, I transform and cleanse from darkness. And we talk about light and darkness and our presence with Jesus and him knowing all these things, which always reminds me of D.L. Moody's little saying with his traveling companion. They're traveling along. He stops and his, he knows his, uh, his traveling companion, I can't remember who it was, knows D.L. Moody wants to say something. Moody goes, he says, he says, what is character? And the man, his companion says, well, I don't know. What is character? And D.L. Moody says, character is what a man is in the dark. And so it is uh, with all of us, who we are in the dark. It's not really who we are right now around our small group. It is sort of, but really it's who are we? Are we the same people? right here tonight as we are uh, when everybody leaves or when we are alone and that's the struggle that's kind of the rub isn't it 
as we seek for Jesus to purify us and cleanse us of the things that we know are not pleasing to him. I think we all have those struggles if we're honest. Anybody have a comment about that? I know everything about you. <laughs> Far more than you know of yourself. But I restrain my yearning to fix you. Waiting instead for you to come to me for help. I love that line right there. Uh, and it's kind of the James line. Where, you know, James says, Seek me, you'll find me. Jeremiah says the same thing. Uh, you'll, when you seek me with all your heart, uh, you will find me. But there's an if in there, and it's conditional. And never forget the conditions uh, that, are, that are in there. He, he's restraining himself from fixing us, waiting for us to acknowledge it, to come to him uh, for help. Imagine the divine restraint this requires. For I have heaven and on earth, and that's why we, she quoted the Matthew 28. 18. He could fix us just like that, uh, but that would make us just objects, robots type thing, and that's not, uh, that's not in, in line with free will that he has given all of us. We don't have to be here tonight. There's nothing in our group is totally voluntary. Your small group, if you're in one, I hope you are, is, is voluntary, uh, but we come together intentionally to sharpen one another and to encourage one another and to share with one another life and we've been in this group for 13 years and uh, it's changed uh, some of us a lot of us over the years um, and we I can I'm looking at Kim and Pam because they've been here we've been together since the beginning we pretty much know everything about each other. We've been on a long journey together. Some of us have been some years as well. And and so, you know, you get to know people. You get to kind of know who they are in the dark. And we get to help sharpen one another, encourage one another, help one another, and seeking his face together. I love this next line. Seek my face with a teachable spirit. We never stop learning. Never ever. If you're a follower of Jesus, there's always a lot more, a lot farther you can go, a lot farther he wants you uh, to go. If you've been a part of our live stream, our teachings in the morning, you hear me quote fairly regularly from Eugene Peterson, from William Barclay. Why? Because these, these are people I respect, I learn from, and continue to learn from. That's why I love to read. I've always loved to study. I hope that you do too that you never get done learning and growing and being teachable, having a teachable spirit. And every time you open up the Word, teach me, Lord. Teach me something more today. Uh, and I pray that, the, especially the morning live streams, we have really grown as the Holy Spirit has taught us so much over the last 12 weeks. Come into my presence with thanksgiving. And that's the Psalm 100. Hope that you start every day with thanksgiving in your prayer time. Start every prayer with thanksgiving. Desiring to be transformed. You know the word transformed. We've talked about that before. It's the Greek word metamorpho, which is where we get metamorphosis, which is that process of being changed. And all of us who are part of the chrysalis, the weekend uh, for youth, we think about that and talk about that a lot, starting out kind of in a cocoon, whatever you call it, a chrysalis, and then it, it comes, it it comes out and turns into a beautiful butterfly. That's metamorphosis. That's the transformation that we're all a part of. Paul says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we do that through having a teachable spirit. And our group tonight, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, our Jesus calling. Hope that you uh, as well uh, will think about it, reflect on it a little bit. Hope you've had a great day. It's sure been a beautiful day and uh, a great day to just grow in the Lord, to live for the Lord, to bring Him glory and honor, and hope as your day winds down, as ours is gonna kinda wind down out here in the, in the, the Johnson Botanical Gardens. Uh, we'll just kinda take it easy, enjoy the rest of our evening together, go home, pray for sweet sleep, and I hope to get to do it all again tomorrow, uh, all for His glory. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for 
a little time to reflect on our Jesus calling tonight. And thank you, Jesus, uh, for your power and your authority on this earth. Thank you even for restraining it a bit as we uh, seek after you. We know you seek after us, but we hope and pray to diligently seek after you as well and receive all of your promises to help us grow, to help us metamorphosis in metamorph into all that you created us to be beautiful butterflies uh, for your glory and pray that you give us a good evening give our small group a good evening together any of the other the small groups that might be meeting tonight or this week as well and pray that we will sleep deep and sweet tonight and wake up tomorrow uh, seeking to serve you and love you in jesus name Amen. amen and amen. amen and one last time amen right amen 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 amen, amen. 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 love y'all oh did i get my executive producer one more <laughs> shot of her there she is okay